Yo guys, what is going on and thank you for checking out the video. Today we are riding the Telario Triple X with the 72 volt equipped Chai battery as well as the nuclear P24F controller. Uh, I just wanted to ride around a little bit, show you guys sort of what this thing is made of, get you sort of a raw unfiltered ride, kind of talk about my thoughts and feelings on this thing. So let's get right into it. So guys, the number one thing off the bat is obviously gonna be power. You're gonna get more power with this 72 volt battery. This is 72 volt, 40 amp hour. For comparison, the stock battery is 60 volt, 40 amp hour. So you're getting about 12 more volts out of this and that totally equates to more power. Now the power you noticed essentially immediately because you have 200 amps of continuous discharge as well as 360 amps of peak discharge. So what that means is theoretically, this bike can do up to about 15 kilowatts. Now I haven't done 15, the most I've done is 12 according to this Nuke controller, but uh, I also haven't fully, fully pushed the battery settings. But just to show you guys, I'm gonna put it in mode three. This is the highest power mode I have programmed into this controller and that's simply me twisting the throttle. It's literally just me twisting the throttle. It's absolutely insane. It's honestly intoxicating. Let's get on a, a fast street here. It's literally scary, bro. Like this thing absolutely flies. It's unreal torque, so you can absolutely move. That's great for wheelies. Now you like to fine tune it for wheelies. I have like the throttle and the amount of phase amps and battery amps I'm pulling all modified. But like, look, here's this motorcycle. We'll just cruise right up with him. See if we can race him. Let's try him. He doesn't even know I'm here, bro. Just cruising on by him. See if we can get him to race. Nice, man. T120? No, it's the 110. The 110? That's nice, man. Sounds good. Yeah, dude, that's sweet. Want to race, ready? Easily, he gets me in the top end. There we go. That's great, that's great. So the power is obviously completely there. Uh, top speed though, we can talk about. Uh, top speed I've gotten it to is 60. That thing sounds good, bro. Thanks, dude. I've done nothing. You've done nothing? Well, it sounds good, all right. <laughs> Guys, like this is what you get with this. You can do all this crazy shite. Sorry, I'm getting off track here. Let's go do our top speed test, but the power is absolutely insane. And the thing is, it's like, once you ride a 72 volt, you're like tainted. Like it's impossible to ride a 60 volt because you just always know what you're missing out on. Like once you try it, it's like doing drugs. Ready, we'll try for 60 through here under this cool little old train thing. Oh, there's a lot of stop signs in here. Uh, to my point, just the, the power is nutty, bro. Like, it's just, it's, it's just seemingly endless. It's like riding a 450 for my gas guys. It's like you own a 250 that's underpowered and then you go ride a YZ 450F and you're just like, what the hell, this exists? Oh my God, like, it just completely changes the bike. Completely changes the bike. The other thing I'll talk about is range, just while we're in here. Since you have 12 more volts, same amp hours, you're gonna get better range on this. Now, the one caveat is, if you're pulling like maximum power output all the time, your range probably isn't gonna be quite as good. I'd imagine it'd probably be like somewhat comparable to stock, or maybe even a little less than stock if you're pulling 12, 13 kilowatts nonstop all the time. But I run mode one primarily, and that's eight and a half kilowatts, and that's more than sufficient for me. I love it, I think it's a sweet spot, and my range has been crazy. I haven't gotten this thing below 30%. I don't even think below 35. If I could read uh, voltage better, I could tell you that. But yeah, I don't think it's been below 35, which is crazy, and I've ridden like for four hour stints. So I definitely always recommend kind of riding on lower kilowatts anyways, because then you have a little more control and it's not quite as jumpy when you're you know, taking your throttle hand off and putting it back on, that way you won't loop as easily. All right, let's see if we can get your top speed right here. Oh, that's another stop sign. God damn it! Ombra. Wanted to see him pull it up. Okay, well, I was looking for a spot to do a top speed test, but I already did a last video and it's 60. If you guys know, you know I don't really care about top speed that much. So 60 is the top speed, but that is great. That is well improved over stock. Stock is, they claim 45, but realistically, 42 was like the max I was getting. 42, 43 on the stock 
controller and battery. I got like 44 with the Nuke installed. But uh, I mean, it's a pretty good added chunk. I mean, it's like 18 miles per hour, 16 miles per hour more, which is awesome. I mean, it's just nice to have. Like, I don't really care about it that much. As long as I've got a, a lot of torque, I can pull the wheel up at high speeds, like 30, 40, maybe even 50. But it's nice to have that top speed should you want to hop on a faster road or something or just want to accelerate out further past the car or something. So that's really nice. Beauty of an e-bike, guys. You just never have to wait for traffic or anything. Hopefully this continues to last because dirt bike cops in Philly have been cracking down even on e-bikes. Someone in uh, the Philly group had their e-bike taken and impounded. So uh, we're trying to, you know, be cognizant of everything. Be respectful if we see them. Hopefully nothing happens and we're good to go. Okay, finally we're down here on Broad Street. Oh, and I forgot this is all rocky and shite, but let's show you right now. <laughs> the best part of the 72 volt and that's the culmination of that improved power range Ooh, top speed <laughs> and we're already putting the front wheel down but all i really care about guys if you know me is freaking wheelies and stunts and pushing myself and progressing and once we get down here to a more open area i'm going to show you exactly why and how 72 volt makes stunting even better even easier almost you essentially can rely on your power a lot more which makes some combos and whatnot a lot easier so i'll show you that in just a moment but yeah like here's a perfect example of where the power is important like if you're splitting between cars and you want to get out in the head like you can't do that nearly as well on the 60 volt yeah the 60 volt had power but it's not the same as this like so just getting yourself through and out of sticky situations just to be able to rely on that power to do so is really important especially when it comes to things like lane splitting like you want to be able to quick squeeze out of a situation um, that's really specific to lane splitting now we are down to our wheelie spot so let's show you guys what's up so with that improved power wheelies are a lot more effortless you don't have to throw your body weight for as uh, far back nearly as much as you had to do stock so it really makes it a lot simpler um, now, with that said, it is easier to loop because if you give it too much throttle, <laughs> you can go over. So that's just something to think about. But where I notice the biggest benefit is I always have kind of struggled getting down from like knee knocks or stand-ups, but that was light work. Like I'll get up to a stand-up now too. So sit down, stand up. Now I always struggled getting down from these because you have to be at like the perfect bounce point. But with this, I can just rely on the throttle. So you saw my front wheel was like right here. And if it was on 60 volt, I wouldn't have been able to save that because by the time I would have got down, I wouldn't have had enough throttle to keep the front wheel up. But with a 72 volt, there's so much damn power. So my front wheel can nearly touch the ground. And if I'm like, once I'm back sitting down, I get back on the throttle, I can literally just keep the front wheel up. So it's a cheat code in that like, it almost looks you, makes you look like you're a better rider than you are. It just gives you the ability to really throttle out. I mean, the other big benefit too is like, you can just rip way faster wheelies. Like this thing wheelies with ease at 35 miles an hour. Forgot I could show you guys top speed right here. Let's put it in mode three. So we get up to speed so fast. It's just that we cap at 60. Now, if we wanted to go faster than 60, we could gear this higher, but I have no desire. So we're right up to 60, no problem. No problem. And the bike feels really stable and dialed at that speed. Like I'm not afraid taking this thing at 60. I think I could take it to 70 and still feel totally safe. See, we're gonna turn around in front of this car, but then we just get right up to speed. Like no problem. I'm actually gonna throw it into two so we can do a nice faster wheelie here. Ready? 25. That's all throttle. And look, we'll just cruise up to 40 in a wheelie. 39, 38, 41, 42. And that's balance point. Balance point wheelies at 40. Guys, completely separate note, but if you upgrade a 72 volt, even if you don't, woo, you, uh, Definitely need to upgrade the brakes. I've got a Magura MT5 on right now, and it helps a lot. <laughs> it's always interesting just looking in people's cars, seeing what they're up to. <laughs> Hopefully no moto cops down here. Just freaking loving how this bike feels, guys. 
It's so beautiful. People are always so afraid of this bike, even though it's quiet. They think I'm just an outlaw and I'm gonna run into them or some shit. Let's get some combos. So perfect now. Do you see me? Like, come on. Come on. I wasn't doing that on 60 volt, bro. Oh, should we rip the tailgate real quick? All right, let's get some knee knock circles. I've been working on these. It's scary when you have your, like when you're going this way, because my left foot is on the seat <laughs> instead of here. So if you fall left, you're kind of, you just fall straight down. Oh, these brakes sounding like they're dying now. Right after I was complimenting them. <laughs> Clean. All right, I got to set you guys up here. All right, guys, I just realized I was on photo mode for a second, but yeah, these Maguras, <laughs> I jinxed myself. These are uh, feeling a little spongy and soft. I think I just overheated them. Getting some type of weird brake fade. It looks like it might be a little misaligned. But yeah, I seriously cannot say enough good things about this Triple X now in its current form. And if you do want to buy the battery, if you use code Connor G at checkout, you can save the Chai battery. This code Connor G helps support the channel. Like just to be cruising at 55 like this comfortably. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Yeah guys, honestly, I didn't even really expect to talk about this, but literally just another thing that's great about this is big. Like we're on a fast road and I'm cruising. I'm going 45. I don't feel like I'm destroying battery levels right now. I don't feel like the bike has nothing more to get, but still go more still if we want it to. But losing at 45, it's easy. It's completely easy. So just to have that peace of mind, knowing that you can cruise at these speeds without a problem, is super, super worth it. My gosh, I forgot to show you during the power portion, but look at this power. Just straight rolling burnouts, like, come on, man. Come on. Got someone's wheelchair here. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just look at this beauty. Um, again, I really love this 72 volt setup paired with a nuclear P24F. This bike looks so damn good now, bro, with the Shinko tires, the subframe from Factory Z, the Guts Racing seat cover, the Astro Works shift locks, the ODI front number plate, the Magura brakes, it just looks so proper and of course the 72 volt from chai battery so i absolutely love this bike again if you guys want to get this this uh battery don't forget to use code connor g we are almost to 100k we want to get that holy youtube play button we're about 11k away so if you could subscribe it would literally mean the world to me i've been wanting to do this for so long so 100k will be awesome but yeah otherwise guys i will catch you in the next video peace